welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa. So today I am going to be doing my top 10 books that I really would like to read this year. So I got this idea from the girls that are hosting the Spring To It Videothon. So I'll leave a link to all their channels down below. I couldn't decide if I was going to do the prompts or not because um, they are posting a video every day during this month. But I honestly, I couldn't decide if I was going to do them. But kind of last minute, I decided that I was wanted to really do this prompt. However, this prompt was yesterday's um, prompt for the Spring To It Videothon. So I'm like a day behind, but I still really wanted to do this one. So we're just going to still do it. We're just going to post it a day, day late. <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link to all the information for the Spring To It Videothon, so if you guys are interested, I there's still plenty of time to join in, um, but I've been like following all their videos, and they're so much fun, and I really just want to participate. So. so the first book that I would really like to read sometime this year is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, I have never actually read any of Lainey Taylor's work, and this one has been really one that I've been wanting to read forever. Um, I believe it follows a girl who, like, sketches these monsters, but the monsters may or may not be real. And her, like, natural hair color, the hair that actually grows out of her head is blue. Um, but other than that, I really don't know a whole lot about it. But I'm really excited to get into a Lainey Taylor book and read it and find out what all the fuss is about because I really am interested in this one so so then the next one I would really like to read this year is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab um, this is a series that I've been wanting to get into for a while now and I I think it's just time to finally pick it up <laughs> but I believe this follows um, a traveler who can travel between these parallel Londons and he's like uh, one of the last ones and I think he like steals this artifact that then just like chaos erupts and I'm not sure exactly what all it's about but it is really interesting and a lot of people love this book and so I just really want to get into it um, so hopefully sometime this year I can start this series we shall see how it goes then the next one I really would like to read this year is Card the Mark by Veronica Roth this is one that I've been wanting to read forever and I cannot remember what all it's about um, to be honest with you uh, it's been so long but I know the second one I believe to this one had just or is coming out or has just come out I can't remember for sure but I really do want to read this one and uh, Molly from Miss Molly O, she told me that uh, I need to read this soon so we can have a discussion about it because she's really excited. She really enjoyed this book. So if Molly enjoyed it, I'm sure I will too. Um, so Molly, hopefully soon I'll be reading this book. Then the next one I really want to read this year is Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Obviously I love anything at Beauty and the Beast uh, and retellings are some of my favorites. So I don't remember what this one's about, but I'm really excited to get into this one soon too. So then the next one that I really would like to read, I really want to start this series. Um, I had actually started the first book a long time ago in the middle of a slump and I just couldn't get into it like I was hoping. So I put it down, but I'm hoping to get back into it. And uh, right now I don't have my first copy. Um, it's, I have, I let it uh, lent it out to a friend. So the one set, uh, the book that I wanted to start this year is the Mortal Instrument series. The first book, City of Bones. Um, obviously the second book, but um, I really do want to start this book. I really enjoy the TV series, um, but I really want to get into these books and see what's all what it, what they're all about. I hear great things about this series. I know some people don't like them and some people do, but I really do want to get into it and kind of form my own opinion on this series. So the next one I really want to read this year is Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Um, so this one is about um, this planet that Earth has received information from or a message from. And so there's two people that go to this planet to uncover the mystery of the ancient people that used to live there. And so they're on kind of like this mission 
and I guess like Earth is kind of, I don't know if it's dying or if Earth technology is dying, but it's like a sci-fi book and I'm really excited about this. I've been really wanting to get into a sci-fi book here lately and so I'm really hoping I can pick this one up soon because um, I hear great things about it. Um, so we'll see. So the next one I really would like to get into is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So I am currently in, uh, I just finished the second book to the Grisha trilogy which is Shadow and Bone. Um, so I just finished the second book today so I'm hoping to continue on with that one soon. Um, but this is a book that I really want to get into and I said I wanted to read that that uh, trilogy first before I read this one because it is set in the same world, the Grisha world or Grisha verse. And so this is one that I've really been wanting to get into and I can't remember what it's about honestly. Um, I honestly I can't remember but I'm sure you guys probably already know because it's a fairly popular book. But I'm hoping to pick this one up soon after I finish the other trilogy that I'm finishing up by Lee Bardugo. So then the next one I really, really want to read. Everybody has raved nonstop about these books and I really want to get into this series and I want to pick them up soon. Uh, and that is The Luminae Files by uh, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So I know this is a sci-fi book, but honestly, I don't know anything else about it, um, really. But there are so many people that absolutely love this book. There's so much uh, good things I've heard about this book. So this is a book that I really have been wanting to get into. So so I'm hoping to get into this series sometime this year. Um, but And this one is like set in like multimedia formats and stuff. So... Um, so it's a little bit different, but I'm really ex still really excited to get into it because I hear amazing things about it and I just cannot wait. Like I said, this is a book that I've been wanting to get into really, you know, really, really bad. And I think the third one just came out maybe a week or so ago. So, so yeah, I really need to get on this. So then the next one I really want to read this year is Carnival by Stephanie Garver. I hear nothing but good things about this. I think it's like two sisters that get invited to this carnival, but one of the sisters goes missing, I think, and I'm not 100% sure. Thank you, honey. Um, but I really want to get into this. I hear nothing but amazing things about this series, and I know the second one is either coming out soon or is already out because I can't remember for sure. Thank you, honey. My little boy's handing me books. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this is one that I can get into soon. There, you can have a book. So, so yeah, this is a series that I really want to get into. So then the last one that I really would like to get into this year is Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. And this follows three sisters who are separated and they are trained. They're triplets. They are trained to fight to the death to win the crown. And each one of them have, has a different ability, different magic. And I can't remember what all the magic is. I think one's a poisoner. One's maybe an elementor. Or ele I can't even think. Like, I don't know, but I'm really excited to get into the series. I hear nothing but amazing things about it. Um, so, yeah, I really want to get into this one sometime this year. So, that is all the books I have to share with you guys today. Those are my top ten books that I really want to get into sometime this year. So, he's knocking over all my books. <laughs> but, life of a mom, right? <laughs> with kids. But anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you like to see more from me. Also, if you like to follow me on social media, I will leave all the links to my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter all down in the box so you guys can find me elsewhere. So, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!